Do you know how to make cool 3D type like this? Maybe. Are you going to know how to after this tutorial? Definitely. Keep watching. What's up guys? This one's going to be fun and fast, so let's get started. All I have set up here is my basic scene with uh, an area lamp up here and a seamless backdrop. If you want to learn how to make that seamless backdrop, I have a tutorial on just that on my channel. Head on over there, check it out, and leave me a like on the way. We will be waiting here for you. So I want to get that out of the way for now though, so I'm going to move that to layer 2. And then I'm going to go into my front view so I, I can start sketching out my word. So to do that, we're going to add a curve path. And I'm going to move that up here, just kind of at the start of my word. And um, it starts you off with these five points, and you can just start kind of moving them around, spelling your word out. And I'm pressing E to just uh, to just kind of move this along, start spelling things out. It's a pretty quick process, obviously, depending on uh, what you're trying to spell. If you're going to spell out your crazy YouTube name, Master Destroyer 997, it might take a little bit longer. But uh, I'm just spelling dope. And it's weird, if you try to spell another word besides dope, I'm pretty sure Blender crashes. Just kidding, you can spell our stuff. And just like that, we have our word. This D's bothering me a little bit. I, uh, I had to learn cursive in school. For what reason, I do not know. I haven't used it really until I did this, which is sad. But you can see my cursive skills with that P there. Looking a little funky. So I'm just scaling this down now so that I can kind of fit it in my camera view here. Let's move that down a little bit. Looking pretty good. So to 3Dify this, what we're going to need to do is go over here into the curve settings and change this bevel depth. And as I drag that up, it will get deeper. It will have depth. So where's the back? That's not good. We don't like that. Where'd the back go? To change the back from not being there to being there, we need to go over here to the fill, change it from half to, you guessed it, full. And now it is filled, full, all the way. So the next thing you will notice is that the end is square. You might like that. I don't. So I'm going to change the resolution of this bevel. And that's just going to kind of add resolution. So now it's it's looking a little better, something like that. Looks pretty solid. And uh, you can leave it right here, just like that. But um, I don't really like all these intersections going on, so I'm going to tab back into edit mode and just kind of move these points around so it's not so funky. This is also a good way to drive yourself crazy because you can't tell what you're clicking on. But sooner or later, it'll look pretty good to you. And once you decide it is looking pretty good, then um, you can be even more done with it. Next thing you'll see is that these ends are not filled in. One way you can avoid that is just by kind of hiding them. Uh, a little harder to do over there on that side. There is a fill caps button, but for some reason it does not work when you use this bevel. So if you do want to get that to work, then what you can do is add a bevel object. So I'm going to add another curve, and that's just going to be a circle. And um, I'm going to click right here and select this circle as my bevel object. And then now you can see the fill caps is working. And using the bevel object just does exactly that. It, you know, it mimics the shape of this. And it doesn't have to be a circle. You can change this to you know whatever you want. That looks kind of cool, but I don't want that. So I'm just going to go back. And once again, we're looking uh, pretty good, pretty much done here. Um, now what you can do is go over here into rendered view. I'm going to bring my seamless backdrop back. You know, you can change the color of this. So let's, uh, let's add a new material. You guys know that I love this gold color. So let's, uh, let's do that. Bring this roughness down. That's looking pretty dope, would you say? We, are, uh, we can also change this background color. You know, maybe like a pink, maybe like a pale pink. Getting pretty trendy there. Don't get too trendy. And, um, and that's it, guys. So uh, render that out. Do whatever you want. But wait. Don't leave me yet. I got one cool tip for those of you who have stuck around. We're going to go into this 
curve settings again, and we can animate this. We can make it look like it's going to write, and it's really simple. So I'm going to go to my last keyframe here, 48, and uh, I'm going to insert a keyframe right here on the end of the curve. And you've probably already played with it. This is what it does. So go back to frame one now, drag that all the way back to zero, insert a keyframe there. Let's pause this so it doesn't live update. And wham, look at that. You got a curve writing. Very cool. If you guys like the video, then feel free to leave me a thumbs up or a like and, um, and subscribe to the channel so that you can see the next thing I do because I guarantee you it will be dope.